What is going on, everyone? <laughs> okay, discussion time, guys. I've seen so many comments about the future of solo mode. And a lot of people were bringing up some interesting points, so let's talk about it. But, by the way, if you guys were missing the plugs in my older videos, well, no worries. Twitch.tv slash no edit Andy. Go follow me over there. I'm going to try streaming over the weekends and whenever I can, Monday through Fridays. Come hang out. Ask your questions. I will be reading chat all stream. Not going to be that bozo that doesn't ever look at their chat. All right. With that being said, let's get on with the video. So first things first, we got to talk about the gold nerf. That pesky old gold nerf that we just got. This was the absolute most shocking thing I ever read in the patch notes. Because logically, I can't defend this move by AGS. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if there was a valid reason to do this. Solo mode raids only give bound gold now. Meaning that the gold you earn from completing solo mode cannot be used in the market or tradable to other players. This was supposedly a direct attack for its RM team and bots. This makes sense. Whether you are in the position of loving or hating bound gold, what they did was an attempt to fix those issues in the game. Now, what doesn't make sense is nerfing the gold. The gold was not that great in the first place. Yes, they buffed it so that it reflected similarly to normal mode rewards, but it still wasn't that impactful. Now, if I had to think in AGS's perspective, I would have to guess that they have some internal data reflecting that the total rewards gained from solo mode was a lot more than they probably expected. And possibly there are some underlying issues that were still happening. Now that's a potential side to their story. However, they mentioned before that they didn't want solo rates to ever replace the party finding rates. So I'm guessing this is probably the most likely case of why they nerfed it. More and more people were moving to running solo mode raids instead, and they didn't like that. All of this is speculation, but the purpose of this video is to consider both sides and have a discussion. So, because I'm apparently a rant and discussion Lost Ark YouTuber. Now, a lot of people have said that Lost Ark solo mode is the future of Lost Ark. So let's actually talk about this statement. As I have mentioned right, yo, before in my go. thoughts of solo mode video, solo mode is extremely convenient for the Western players. No doubt about it. There is definitely a culture difference between Korea and the West. And I think AGS are slowly realizing this because don't get me wrong, it should have been obvious in the first place with many, many other games that have failed miserably because of that culture gap that they didn't consider. But I guess people don't learn. But anyway, because AGS are realizing this, you will notice that we are getting a lot more things in our version of Lost Ark compared to Korea's. But that's besides the point. Solo mode in the Western version okay. seems mandatory. Because of this culture difference, the Western players are just not as patient and willing to be sucked into that second full-time job in a video game. Most of us here are boomers now. We got other stuff in our lives to do. Long gone are the days where you can come home from elementary school and middle school and just play games all day. Some people even have children to take care of. Some people work long hours. There's just no time for this nonsense, like this stupid 16-man behemoths. This is ridiculous, by the way. Okay, <laughs> we're starting to become a rant video. This is supposed to be more of a discussion one, but seriously, 16-man raids, what were they even thinking? 
These lobbies take way too long to fill. I understand thematically what they were going for, but it's just a lack of consideration for players' times. Now, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Let's go back to solo mode. With solo mode, you don't have to deal with Party Finder ever. And you can start and stop whenever you like. This is exactly what Western Lost Ark needs. And this is why there were so many people upset with the nerf to solo raids news. I definitely think that they need to revert it back. This, did, this didn't go unnoticed. And everyone is anticipating for Thaymine solo mode. Oh, no. Where is that raid? Wasn't the whole idea to have three solid raids that a character could do before you nerf the others? I mean, I'm not even for nerfing, by the way, but if you were going to, you need to have Thaymine, no? Before you nerf it. Are they ever going to announce it? Maybe Lowell on? I feel like that's a little too late. For Korea's version, if the Koreans don't like solo mode existing, then don't give it to them. But you can create a different game for the Western Lost Ark. We should technically be having our own Loan sponsored by AGS. I know the feeling of separating us and Korea seems weird, but at this point, I think it's necessary. Koreans were directly responsible for us getting completely different rewards for normal and hard mode rates. Yes, they were complaining, especially Akan, that, oh, they worked hard to get to hard mode. And it turns out you could have just done normal mode instead. There's people that think like this. But I know in the West, the opinion that normal and hard rewards should be the same, just maybe less in normal, is the extremely popular one. So there's already a difference in mindset. You can't create the same game for both. AGS. We need to revert solo mode gold until at least Thaymine and or Echidna solo mode comes out. And let the West do what we want. Because freedom baby America. Am I right guys? Even with going back to the normal gold rewards for solo mode, as long as you make the gold rewards for doing Party Finder better, most people are going to do Party Finder. So you don't have to worry about that. Especially the veterans. But we all should have the opportunity to relax and decompress one week if we ever wanted to. And new and returning players, I never forget about you all. Solo mode is an amazing thing for them. I just died in this video recording. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It got one of the most comments ever from my channel. It's clear. It's a hot topic and it affects many. If a veteran like me is getting gate kept, I'm just going to replay it back here. Sorry, guys. Um, Where was I? If a veteran like me is getting gate kept, new and returning players need other options. That's solo mode. And by the way, sponsor me, AGS. I'll advertise this game for you, no problem. I mean, I guess I'm technically doing it already, but money, give me more money. Anyways, what do you all think? Am I just a clueless bozo or did I make some decent points? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And Pineapple Gang, my fellow beautiful and fruity okay. viewers. And that sounded wrong, but you guys know what I mean. Thank you all so much for watching, and today's word to sneak in is bread. I know it's not a fruit, but sue me, bread. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.